Uh, yeah, OK, well, what about uh, 6.30? All right. Thanks, Anthony. This country's got stalking laws, you know. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know I'm heading back tomorrow. Check out the hotel at three. Well, that's fine, but I haven't made a decision yet. Ah, you'll be there. What? The syndicate's been investigated. Why? I don't know, all right? It is. Someone got wind of it, it's all off. It can't be. I'm telling you, it is. They're gonna do one tomorrow, they're pulling the plug. Wait a minute, you say they're doing one more? Yeah, well, it's already set. Why can't we do it too? Are you having a laugh? The authorities will be watching that race like hawks. They'll be watching the syndicate, not us. I don't know. What do you think? Risky. He who dares, and all that. Surely it's worth the risk. If we're gonna do this, it has got to be a big bet. Because I'm telling you, this is the last chance. Absolutely. The most I can raise is probably gonna be about 30K. <laughs> You've gotta be joking. We're not risking getting caught for that. So how much would it take? Half a million. <laughs> what? Half a million. Even if we only get two to one again, we clear a million. It's too rich for my blood, I'm afraid. We could have a wonderful week with a million pounds in the bank. I'm sorry, no. Oh, well, if you're not up to it. It's not a question of not being up to it. I just can't afford to lose that kind of money. Well, how could you lose? I mean, you've seen how it works. Even so. Half a million. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I mean, it's now. More. It's never. Remember, a faint heart never won a fair maiden. Okay. I'm in. Okay, gentlemen. In conclusion, this is what we might call in America the Super Bowl of Khan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, you heard the man. Let's get this right and then get out. They're on their way, Mick. Let's go. Bank manager thought I was insane. I had to threaten to close my account. Yeah, well, he'll calm down when you pay double back in. Are you sure they'll take a bet of this size? You heard the man. No limit. Gentlemen, feeling lucky again? Well, I think we'll be OK. I think so. <laughs> oh, uh, I do hope that's full of money. I'll soon wipe the smile off his face. Yeah, well, just ignore him. Right, if I want to find a horse for him, and then she'll meet us here. I'll get us a drink. OK. Anything? Favourite one in the last. Oh, we've got to try and get bigger odds. Wait. Place it all on Rufa in the next race. Yeah, I'll see you there. 
Okay. Rufa. 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 Eight to one. Eight to one. <laughs> That's four million. Okay. Listen, they're in the stores. Get the bet on. Get the bet on. Last one to go forward on the near side, ruled by Eddie Crichton, who claims the seven. He's the son of Eddie Crichton, senior. Thank you very much. Rufa in the next race. Half a million pounds to win. Is there a problem? One moment, sir. What's wrong, Paul? Now, this gentleman wants to place a large bet, sir. How large? Half a million. Price? Roof, uh, eight to one. I understood there was no limit. <clears throat> take the gentleman's bet, Paul. Yeah, but I have no time to count I'll it. Just yet. take the case, and if the horse wins, then we'll count it, and we'll pay out on whatever's there. That's it. I think oh, yes. we're just about ready for our first. The chance is just locked away. Adam Arnold, the clear favourite here. They're set under orders and they're racing. And on the near side, walking out of the gate. So you get it on, all right? Rufa, half a million to win. To win? I told you, place. Place? What? I, I said place. The syndicate went for a place to throw everyone off the scent. That's what I told you. I said place it on the foot. <sighs> that will finish us third. There's been a mistake. I want my money back. Sir? I meant to say place, not win. The race is started, sir. I don't care about the race. I want my money back. House rules dictate that I'm not going to give you my money. Come on, take it easy. What the hell is going on? You don't understand. There's been a mistake. Oh, there's no mistake, sir. Your horse just lost. Get off! Hey, aren't you Sir Anthony Reeves? Boys, boys, get some shot, please. Is this what you're doing with your golden handshake, sir? Gambling with the taxpayers' money? I'm not, gambling with our I'm not betting. I don't this gamble. Man place betting, sir? Look, that's confidential. So can you explain to our readers why you're in a private gambling club, sir? Is the winner. Visiting a friend. Do you think it's fair, sir, that the taxpayer should fund your gambling habit? Come on, sir. What have you got to say to our readers, sir? Anthony, did you fund that out of your winning, sir? Sir Anthony! Well done, everyone, well done. All right, let's get out of here. Wages in Eddie's bar tomorrow night. Let's go. Let's go. Danny. Well done, mate. Okay. Look, mate. Now this is all over. There's something I need to tell you. Well, the thing is. Look at you, rats in a sewer. Eyesight better? What was it, laser? I oh, yeah, they're very good. <laughs> hey, what can we do for you, Arthur? What can you do for me? Well, you could try dropping to your knees, kissing my feet and begging me not to paint the walls with you. But I'll settle for what you've just taken off the last mug. I I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You've got ten seconds. 